I'm failing by just using this kind of- I do have to show you, I already have him traced. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's your girl Emily Curl with iHeartRadio and we have something very special for you today. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but now it's made even more wonderful because our girl Tori Kelly has dropped a Christmas album, a Tori Kelly Christmas. And we're gonna talk about the album. We're also gonna decorate some cookies. Let's bring her in. Welcome Tori Kelly. Hi. <laughs> Tori, thank you for being here. We have a lot to talk about, but even more so we have a lot to decorate. So we, we do. both have cookie decorating kits. <laughs> we have lots of beautiful ones. And before we were on, we were, you know, saying that we were gonna decorate some cookies. It's gonna be fun, lighthearted, but you're a competitive person. I'm also a competitive person. So I think the competition <laughs> is who can decorate the cutest gingerbread man. Are you up for it? I'm so down. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. And while we do that, I can't wait to talk to you about your new album. Yay. Before we dive into that, tell me, what is your favorite, your number one go-to Christmas song to really get you in the spirit? Like full on Christmas Eve vibes, what you're listening to right before Santa comes. Oh, that's hard. There's so many good ones. Uh, actually, well, there's, man, cause it's like, there's the, the real throwbacks. Like I grew up listening to a lot of um, like jazzy Christmas. Mm. So that, like, when I hear jazz, I think of Christmas. And also, because my my grandfather, um, he like he was so into jazz. So like Ella Fitzgerald, Christmas stuff. Um, even like Nat King Cole and stuff. I don't know. That's hard. Hard to for me. It's hard. Well, it's hard to pick like one song. You know what I mean? Like versus, because I don't know. I think for me, oh. I just, I'm just starting. So this is actually a little tougher than I had anticipated. I, know. I was gonna say, this is gonna be a test of like how well I can multitask. Cause like, right when I started doing this, I was like, nope, no more words. Not gonna <laughs> be able to say this. Yeah. Paint the picture for me. What did Christmas look like for you growing up at home? Christmas for me, I, I immediately think of, um, like we had a we had a real fireplace, but then we also for some reason always had like the TV like fake fireplace thing on where it was like, you like the like, nine like, hours on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, like like I always and I mean this is back. I mean this is even before like YouTube was a thing. I feel like it was on like a like a channel, right? Like you go to like a specific channel to to like watch it. So that when I think of Christmas, I have like a visual of that. And then um, I, by the way, you're gonna. 100% beat me because I'm just realizing like I'm failing by just using this kind I of. I do have to show you. I already have him traced. You don't. Even, I don't even work with it so far, Tori. Let me see. This is. It's literally like falling. Like it's. This is like so liquidy, like that it's dripping. <laughs> he is dripping. Mine's like the legit. Like I truly feel like. Uh, this is hard. Oh my god. I honestly feel like I'm getting an arm workout doing this as well. It's a little little tougher than anticipated. Gosh, I'm just, I'm struggling. Now it. talk to me about, I feel like the way someone decorates a tree says a lot about who they are. Yeah. <laughs> so for you, yeah. your perfect tree, do you like a real tree? Do you like a fake tree? Last year we, did, we had a fake tree, um, but there is something really fun about like going to the tree place and being like, Get out. yeah, like I would almost, honestly, I would even be, I would be the type of person that would just go like just to go and like, have a coffee, but then like not get a tree. Like just walk oh, around. Oh, good hot chocolate, smell some fresh balsam. Yeah, <laughs> like that's a Christmas mood for sure. Yeah, just walk around and be like, bye, thank you so much. Like, or maybe buy like a little baby one and then still have like the big big tree. And Honestly, that is a cute thing about New York. We don't have a ton of space here, but you do get the baby trees that are like just yeah. bump enough to fit next to your TV. I mean, it makes the apartment smell so good. So that's uh -huh. always a fun thing to in New York. And now, do you like to decorate your tree or do you go just classic ornaments? Do you go heavy on the homemade, white lights, colorful lights? Yeah, so now that I'm thinking about it, I always, so I, I had an apartment for for a little bit while, you know, like being in LA um, before I moved in here. And I, it was like the same thing. It wasn't like, I, I couldn't fit like a big tree in it or anything. So I, I had like this little baby tree, like from Target and mm -hmm. that became, um, kind of like my 
like memory ornament type of tree. So like whether it's stuff I, you know, grabbed from my mom or like my grandma or like, I don't know, there's like text on it from like a trip. Like, you know, you go on like a vacation yeah. and you're like, let's get an ornament. So that's kind of becoming like the memory tree. And then I do like when a tree is just kind of like, like well decorated and pretty and like, you know, lights. And so I think I'm, I'm realizing this as you're asking me to answer your question. Like I- You know it's so fun because like, you don't normally ask people, but it's such, yeah. a, it's such <laughs> a fun tradition for everyone that it's, it's know. you know, I'm always curious to see like what people gravitate towards. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I, I like that. Cause last year that's what I did. I had like the little tree and that had all like the memories on it. And then I had like the big kind of grand tree that just looked like really pretty and like gold ornaments everywhere. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do that again. I, I think I like that, having both. I, I love, I love the idea of a memory tree. Um, yeah. Speaking of that, I'm gonna remember this forever, but how's yours going? Because the red was a little tougher for me <laughs> on this one. I feel like I need to start over. He looks like he's bleeding now. <laughs> I This does not work well. All right, I might, honestly, I might start on a second one. I'm going for a second one. I think I feel like, I, like under pressure too. I I think I actually take a really long time decorating cookies and I never realized. But yeah, Do you I'm decorate cookies you know, every year? Is that a tradition? Oh, no. Why is he dripping? <laughs> because I used the wrong icing. Yeah. I need to use a different. <laughs> Oh my God, he does. Like, I was like, I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, but let me, I'm gonna, it's not too late. It's not too late. I'm gonna- Bust out the icing, let's see. Yeah, I'm starting on my second cookie because I ruined the first one. Yes. All right, so Tori, we've got to talk about your album. Because yeah. the last time we spoke, you had just released Solitude, the EP that you created. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow, what a year. I, right? Doesn't it seem like time is just like weirdly flying, but also inching? It's- Yes. <laughs> What is exactly. time? Exactly. But what? your your holiday album, A Tori Kelly Christmas, out now. What made you want to create a project like this? And have you always sort of known that you wanted to do this? Okay, so yes, I, I've always wanted to do a Christmas album. Um, I I would I would always get people asking me too, like when when's a Christmas album? Because I did I would do like collaborations with people and stuff, and it just never I don't know I either I would miss the deadline because I. It would forget like you have to make the Christmas album like literally in the summer, so I would just forget, and then Christmas would come. And I'd be like, "Whoops!" <laughs> but and and just timing too, like it never really made sense. But this year, like I, I mean, I have this cool studio in in my house, so I'm like, "Wow!" I actually, you know, during quarantine, I I literally like did the EP and then went straight into recording uh, the Christmas songs. Really? So it was like back to back. Yeah, it was back to back. I, I didn't really leave that room. Like I would forget to eat sometimes. <laughs> I was like glued to the computer, but it was so fun. I mean, I did I did the whole thing with, uh, with Babyface. Amazing. I was gonna ask you, tell me about how that collaboration came about. He's so legendary. I, I mean, know. That was incredible. He really is a legend. And so, I, I mean, I was just, I knew we needed a, like to bring in a producer who was gonna kind of just streamline everything and make it sound like one thing and just, you know, give it that like magical Christmas feel. So I, we were trying to think of people that could do that, like different producers. And I, um, I, I was also kind of like stressed for time because you know, you, you have like a deadline to turn everything in. So I'm like, dang, we need to like find a person to help us. So I, um, I, I looked up like all my favorite Christmas albums and like I was seeing, you know, who produced those and, and just trying to get inspired. And I came across his album and I was like, wait, Babyface is like a legendary producer and artist. And like, he would be perfect because I, I knew I wanted like that kind of R&B undertone to it, but also like, I, I mean, he's, he's just a legend. So I thought it'd be so cool, but I, I didn't know if he would be down. Like, I thought it was a long shot. I was just like, He's amazing. I think he would be perfect. I, I reached out to my team and uh, they asked and I literally wasn't expecting him to say yes. And he, he did. He was like, I'm down. Cause also you don't know, like if people are busy, like he could have been right. doing it. Different. Yeah. Or what he's up to. Yeah. So he, he what was, was your reaction when you got the news that he was, he was in? I was just, I was, I couldn't believe it. Cause I right away, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be, I just had a feeling like it was going to end up being the, 
Christmas album that I like dreamed about having, you know? Cause there's so many different directions you can go when you're making a Christmas album. Cause they're, you know, most of them are covers. You have like a couple originals, but um, you know, you want it to sound like unique, but also classic. And you want it to, you know, be relevant like for years to come. So mm, that was, was that a challenge was thinking about it, I'm sure. Yeah, it really was. So when, when Babyface came on board, I would just, it just like put me at ease because like I was just like okay he would he'll know what to do like he'll you know be able to kind of guide the ship a little bit so the hardest part honestly for me about making a Christmas album was the the track list and like narrowing it down and I was gonna ask you about that because so many classics you have two originals yeah. Tell it's me. so hard so but that being said Oh Holy Night was like always gonna be on it for me I was like I have to do that one because it's just one of my favorite songs and just, I think even just for like a singer, it's just like really fun to sing. It's just like so big and, and grand. And um, it, I was a little nervous though, cause I wanted to do the song justice. Like there's been so many amazing versions of it. So uh, that song for me, I, mean, I I got to sing that song at the, the White House too, went a, a while ago. So that, I mean, it, I just have so many like good memories with that song um, and just, just cool like, I don't know, like career moments, I guess, with that song. Cause yeah, I think it's like personal for you on that. Yeah, yeah, super personal. So um, it's cool to like say I have a version now of my own, but yeah. I love that. I'm and just gonna put my hands now. Cause it's, <laughs> it's getting- Oh, I, I tried that too. No, I mean fully. Okay, but this one is, he's kind of going places. He's got a face. Oh, oh yeah, he's, he's like killing the game. Um, okay, so Tori, before before we let you go and before we finalize our cookies and see who really takes home the gingerbread cooking or baking, okay. decorating contest, I have a couple rapid fire questions for you about the holiday season, if you're down. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer them while I'm like... Exactly. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those baking shows where they have like 20 seconds and they're like finishing up everything. Um, okay, Tori, here we go. Rapid fire while you finish your gingerbread man. Okay. The best Christmas gift I ever received was... Uh, a, a logic, which is, <laughs> which I'm such a nerd. It's like a, like the recording program that I use. And I got it when I was 15 and I was geeking out. And you said, and you still use the same one? So use logic? Yeah. Like it's like a more updated version, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, I still use it. I love yeah. it. Okay. Question two, the best Christmas gift I ever gave was. Uh, I'm really, I'm actually really bad at gifts. I'm like, really? a, well, I'm like a quality time person so i'm sure i gave that like i like giving like experiences i'm trying to think of what i've done i'm the worst um oh wait actually one of my favorite this is i this is one of my favorites i i gave um this was like a sentimental gift i gave my husband like a little it was like a picture with like hearts and then inside the hearts was like this is funny. Inside the hearts was like little like maps that I printed out and it represented like different locations, like of different like moments. Our, yeah, like our first kiss or like the first time we said I love you, like little things like that. And I felt like so Pinteresty and so cute. <laughs> so crafty. Yeah, I was like real proud of it. So like I I like sentimental gifts like that. Are, th those are fun. That's actually so cute. <laughs> is he gonna be proud of your gingerbread man today too? I, I hope he supports my journey in gingerbread making. <laughs> um, okay, next one up, Tori. The Christmas movie I get most excited for is? Oh, Elf. Easy. That's me. Same. Then. Same. It's so um, iconic. So iconic. Like, I want to watch it right now. <laughs> <laughs> my all-time favorite Christmas song to carol to is? Ooh. Um... Does, I mean, does Oh Holy Night count as a carol? I don't, I feel like there's certain songs that are like more carol-y than others. I feel like it does. I feel like that's just like a, a very hymn-like. Yeah, I'll pick that one. <laughs> okay, this year I'm asking Santa for... Um, this year I'm asking Santa for peace. <laughs> Real peace. 2020, we need that. Yes. Santa come through. Yes, Santa, please. <laughs> My favorite Christmas drink is? Ooh, I'm gonna have to go with the hot toddy. Ooh, that's my jam. That's my jam. By the Yule log? I mean, come on. It's so good. 
Okay, so Tori, are we ready to show our final version of pick your favorite? Because I have two and one is really rough, but pick your favorite gingerbread man and we're gonna show it. I just I just wanna say that I did this cookie in the last five minutes. So Okay, I'm excited to see it. All right, let's show the cameras. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. In three, two, one. What? He's fine. Right, that actually looks really cute. <laughs> okay, now I'm upset. <laughs> he did. He has like he has like a, a romper on, I think. Uh, how'd you get his coat so even? <laughs> okay, that's what I was doing. I just literally squeezed the <laughs> frosting like all over and I like used my hand. <laughs> Wait, can I show you? I had to show you. This is my other one that I gave up on. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I don't really know. I mean, okay, I'll show. This is the other one, so. Wait, let's do a side by side. <laughs> it's really gory. I feel like, I feel like this, is, this is like a horror. <laughs> that was rough. Movie. Regardless, I definitely think that you won that though because the one with the romper is honestly beautiful. Thank you so much. That, that silky coat. <laughs> Tori Kelly, thank you so much for being here. So fun. So excited for the new Christmas album. And for everyone watching, make sure you stream a Tori Kelly Christmas out now. And Tori, enjoy this holiday season. And I hope you get to, to make some more of these guys. <laughs> I will. I'm going to make some better ones, I think. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Tori. We'll see you again soon. Thank you so much, Emily. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to stream Tori Kelly's new Christmas album, A Tori Kelly Christmas, out now on iHeartRadio. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.